Hi, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm so excited to show you this new Plenty Thing release and I'm going to use it in my creative journal this week. This is a cute release. It released a couple days ago and I'm going to show you everything. Actually, let's look at the washi tape first so I can get it off my desk. <laughs> it rolls around. Okay, so I, I'm doing something different this time. And what I'm going to do is show you the washi like this, and then I'm going to put a picture on my screen, and it's going to show you exactly what it looks like. This is a seasonal release, so we have some seasonal washi tapes here, and they're so, so cute. We have like little hedgehogs, which I love, leaves and sweaters and stuff. Oh, I forgot one. How could I forget the dog? We have a dog there too. Okay, and then we have these adorable, oh my gosh. Okay, I love these. These grid washies and springy colors. I love the colors here. And also, I just love the size, you know, because a regular washi tape is like this size. And then these are just like cute little grid washies you can add as a pop of color to your planner. Okay, so those are the washi tapes. They are all sold separately, by the way. And I will link anything below for you if you wouldn't mind using my link I would appreciate that so much so um let's check out what else we have here we have a paper pad and it's about the size of these sticker books which um here's my hand you know I'm not going to measure it but this is a paper pad I love to have these around sitting on my desk to just jot stuff down we have a cute spring theme there on the bottom a girl walking her dog we've got some trees it's worth mentioning that amber the owner of plenty things she illustrates all of these herself and i think it's wonderful same thing on the back pretty purple background and it's lined so for you guys who need lines i got you okay next up we have two really cute sticker books here to show you and i'm going to show you this one first this is super quick because it's all pastel rainbow boxes. I love this so much because they're all solid color boxes. We have hexagons in different sizes. We have circles in different sizes and it all coordinates together and it's springy colors. I love this and I'm going to be using these today. Okay now we have seasonal vibes. So I met Amber, the owner of Planny Thing. I met her at Go Wild, the planner conference, and she's so nice. I knew she would be, but yeah, she was a sweetheart. I enjoyed meeting her. We spent a little time at Planjama together, and it was so fun to finally talk to her in person. Okay, so we start off the sticker book with winter stickers. We have little piles of snow and girls in snow suits and a snowman and some trees, some snowflakes. These are on clear. These are also on clear. I think all the illustrations in this book are going to be on clear, but we'll see. So we have sweaters and little cups of coffee and mugs. I love the illustration style. It's just really, really fun. There's some ice skates there. So it looks like you're going to get two pages of each for the illustrations, which is good. We have Santa. There's Santa and he's on a sweater there. Happy New Year 2024. We're getting ready for next year. We have champagne going, gingerbread cookies, super fun. And then you're going to get boxes to match the colors of your season. And this is the winter boxes. And you have two pages of each. So I think you're going to get two pages of each of the whole sticker book. So this page is adorable. Oh my gosh. So this is springy, right? With butterflies and bees and rain, a rainbow in the middle. So cute the way it's laid out. And then we have Easter stickers. We've got a little bunny and chicks and little Easter eggs. And look, a carrot banner. That's so cute. Love that. We have stickers for a little spring scene here. You can make a scene in your planner. I mean a planner sticker scene, not an actual scene. Don't do that. But we have these kids. Not kids, but to me, they look like kids. They're sitting, having like a little romantic date on their picnic blanket. There's that doggo again, a girl riding her bike. We have a little pond with ducks. We have these stone walls. Super fun. And you can put it all together and make a scene. I love it. Here's your spring colored boxes. 
And then we get right into summer with a beach theme. Look, there's a dog chasing his ball. We have a girl in a hammock. There's more love for you and some palm trees. Just some things to make a beach scene. Flip flops, ice cream, more beachy type stuff. But this is like a pool theme. So you're gonna go to the pool and you have a slide. You can put a little floaty in the pool and you have the pool girl. And then she's swimming. Yeah, you can even put her in the pool, I guess. And then there's your summer boxes. We go right into fall with some gorgeous leaves and acorns always needed in the fall. I love having more and more and more leaf stickers because I use them in like almost every spread, right? And then these are the stickers that you can make your little planner scene. We have a pumpkin vibes pillow. Look at that girl. She's playing in the leaves. That's a big squirrel compared to her, but you know, you can throw it in anyway. Little leaf piles here. It's so cute, like a little hedgehog. There's lots to see on that page. Halloween stuff, right? We have the witch feet, which you saw in the washi tape. And the ghost, look at that ghost. He's either confused or mad, I don't know. That's a happy ghost though. And the pumpkin is so funny. I love that pumpkin, it's so different and cute. And the spider webs, the witch broom all that kind of stuff and then of course here are your fall boxes in those really warm fall colors super cute sticker book we're going to use it today and of course we're going to use a, a spring theme today because it is spring finally okay so i'm going to do a guided journal spread since i'm kind of like not knowing what to do in my planner this week, or in my journal, I should say, I thought I would use the guided journal pages on both sides, but I'm gonna doctor them up. I'm gonna make them different. You don't have to use the guided journal just as is. And I'm gonna show you where it came from, and it's this self-care guided journal. It's so, so cute, and there's different sections that have different colors in the middle. I chose this color because it felt most spring and matched the stickers I'm gonna use, but um, this came in a self-care box with a couple of other really cute things. So I'll link this for you. It is a really fun little box. It makes a good gift for you or for someone you know, but yeah, I really like it a lot. So we're just going to get started. So I'm using this, but I'm also going to use this and some washi tape. I'm going to use these ones because they feel really delicate and pretty. I'm going to start with this. The theme I'm using in this Seasonal Vibes sticker book is this one because I'm in love with it. I think it's so, so cute. So I'm picking some of these boxes that are going to match that page. And what I thought I would do to start, I'm going to grab some of these circles and I'm going to put one circle in each one of these areas. Oh my gosh, Bumble has something. What do you have, Bumble? She, I opened up the washi tape and some of it must, some of the packaging must have dropped on the floor and she's got washi tape packaging. Not good. So here's the colors I'm gonna use. This one, look at, I'll show you why. This is my page. I thought this one matched and this one, right? And then also, where is it? This one. I thought they matched really well with this and I thought these are the three colors I'm going to use pretty much in this spread. I might use some other colors as well, but oh my gosh, Bumble is being rambunctious as usual. So I'm going to put one of these, let me see, yeah, I'll put one in each box. What do I want to do here? I guess I'll put the yellow in the middle. I thought that was kind of cute, right? I'm also going to use a Pigma Micron pen to sort of jazz up this whole spread, not this one, um, a size 12, because I sort of want to like just, I don't know, make it a little exciting and different. Since this is my journal page, I'm going to white out this week's priorities. And up here is going to be where I track 
how I connected this week because my word of the year is connect and every week in my journal I am just writing a little bit about how I connected this week if I remember to do so. So what I'm going to do here I guess is cover up that white out with some washi tape. I'm going to use this one I think. Oh has a lot to say today. I know. So I'm just going to make this little cute area here and then I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut around here to make it look like it sort of fits, fits in the box. I don't know what Bumble's problem is. If you're new here, that's my dog. I named my channel after her and it's a good thing I did because um, then I can forgive her when she is interrupting my videos because it is her channel. That looks cute, right? I think that's super cute. What's the matter, Bumble? So I know this might be like not spring-like, but I'm gonna take this Pigma Micron and do some dark lines around the circles. I am gonna leave this things you're excited for because I like that prompt. So I just wanna make it a little fun. These are not gonna be perfect because I cannot draw perfect circles, but it's okay if they're not perfect because this is doodly. There's even a section that says doodle, although I think I'm gonna cover that up. Look, that one's really wonky. Look at that. I really messed that one up, but that's okay. I will forgive myself because, hey, it's life. And I'm going to just take this and darken these here because I think since these are so dark, let's make it a little more fun up here and darken these. Now, while I fill out my spread during the week, I may be coloring some things in. Like I might color around the outside there. I might color in some of this or this, but... I don't know yet, so you'll see it at the end of the week if you follow me on Instagram, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, get on that because it is a good place to see my after the pen spreads. I try to remember to post them here on YouTube, but a lot of times I don't remember. So if you want to see how I use my planners and stuff, that is the best place to go to see that. I am just taking this pen and making it darker here too. So we're gonna make different sections a little bit darker just to make them pop. I'm also gonna outline this. So when you have a guided journal, I think there's a lot of misconceptions, you know, about how to use guided journals. And I sort of resisted them for years because I thought, um, I just thought that I didn't want to use a guided journal because I didn't want a planner to tell me what to write, you know, but this one is different in my opinion. Oh, there's something on there. What did I do? Was that on my hand? I don't know. This one is different in my opinion because this one, oh, I smeared it right there. I'm interrupting myself. Sorry. I'm just going to take a white pen and fix that a little bit. Anyway, it's different because there's sections and it's doodly and it's not just like prompts, you know. So I can use the doodly sections to like write in what I want so I can change the prompts. And that's what I've been doing. And I'm actually really liking the guided journal this year. I don't use it every week. In this planner, I change up in this journal. I change up every week how I'm doing it and the layout I'm using and stuff because I think it's just fun to do that and I don't get bored. All right. Um, we might make some things darker as we go along, but let's continue with these boxes. So I'm going to take three boxes and put them here as well. Same colors, but this size. So we're going to start with the blue because that's there. So we're going to put this up here. And I think I might leave the prompt alone there that says what are three things you need for you today. And I'll just do it for like the week. It's like a self-care checklist and that's important in my opinion. So yeah, I think that's good. Um, we're going to put this one down here. We're putting them in the same order as here for some reason and that's okay. And then we're going to take this one. Yeah, I think it's cute to sort of match the area over there and it pulls everything together on this side. 
Since we did this with the lines here around in a circle, I think what I'll do is take this and do something on these just to be interesting on these as well. So let's just do like this maybe. I don't know, I think that's good. I love these Pigma Micron pens. They're really opaque and dark black. So these pens are great. If you like some bold lettering in your planner, I have a whole set of them that I'll link for you, but um, I like having them in different thicknesses. So that's a good pen. We are going to cover up this. I know I'm a doodle queen. No, I'm not really, but I know I like to doodle, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doodling in that section. And I don't like being told what to do. And that's why I hesitate with the guided journal, but I like, you know, doing my own thing. So I'm covering up some sections and that's working for me because it's still so cute, right? I know I just said that. These are really thick, these stickers. So the good thing about the Planny Thing box stickers is that you don't need to put down white out first to cover up something in your planner that you don't want to show through a box sticker because these box stickers are super thick and that might be why it curled my page slightly, but it's also the way I put it down. I wanna put another box sticker next to it and then I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing with these sections here. I might layer a blue box on top of this. So I'll put it sort of in the middle here a little. I love this guy, the journal, because it has the dot grid here so you can line up your boxes and you don't have to like think, is it straight, is it straight? You know what I mean? So for this, I obviously need to outline these a little bit as well, since that's the look we're going for. So I'm thinking maybe I just outline the whole box. Um, I could do like just the corners. Let me see what it would look like if I just did the corners, because I can always then go in and change it. I mean, that's kind of cute. I don't even have to do all the corners. I could just do it like that, right? I could do this one like this. I don't know. I'm just thinking my way through here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like this. It's kind of fun though, right? I think. I'm gonna do all four corners. I'm trying not to lean on this pen because that's what happened before. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's keep going. Uh, let's see. So I want to add in more washi tape and I think I'm going to add this blue one in somewhere. Over here, I'm going to change up these mood prompts because the first one says, how are you feeling today? And then it says, is there something you need to let go of? And I like those, but those are like for a daily thing. So I'm going to change them up for a weekly thing. So I'll take my white out here. This is Tombow Correction Tape, by the way. It's my favorite white out. It's very smooth. I buy them in bulk. Um, I don't, I haven't strayed from this brand. I thought about doing a brand test, you know, to see if some of the cheaper ones were just as good, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. Let me know if you're interested in that. But I, I really do like that and it's not too expensive since I buy them like at, in big packs. I don't know, I just really like them. Okay, so we are gonna do this there. That's pretty light, but that's okay. We're gonna now add this one in, which is going to be, why is this here? That's not even, I'm not even using that. This is definitely gonna be darker. So that is darker, but I don't mind that. Um, now we're gonna need something to put on there to write the prompts, right? So I think we're gonna use more of these color boxes. Ooh, or we could use yellow circles, sweet. Since we have circles here, let's use circles here, but we can use the little ones like this size, I think would be good. We can put them in the middle or actually let's put them sort of on the side. Let's start this one here. And then we can put this one here, aw. It's kind of cute. I'm gonna use yellow again. Okay. This is gonna be mood of the week. 
not mood, mood of the day. So let's cover that up and write in mood of the week. We need dark color up there anyway. Okay, that's not gonna cover the whole thing, but we are going to grab something else to cover that up. Maybe we could white it out, but maybe we could put more tape up there. Maybe I should put tape on it and put that in the middle. So we'll get that yellow or green. I guess it's green, I don't know. Does it look like yellow or green? It's one of those illusions because it's a very yellowy green. And so the boxes look a little bit yellow, but I feel like this looks more green, you know? But then, yeah, so I don't know. But we'll put this here like this. Whoops. Okay. And then I'll write in mood of the week. And of course my mood fluctuates so much during the week, but this is just gonna give an overall indication of you know how I was feeling that week. Whoops, that pen does not work. I'm throwing that one away. I was using that earlier and I was just like, what is going on with that pen? That hardly ever happens with Muji's, but this is a Muji .38 and I like this pen a lot. If you know me, you know I like this pen. Okay, um, now. What are we gonna write here? Because I have my Muji out. I think it should be something related to mood. Oh, let's use this pen for, and we'll write in big words, like why. Are you feeling this way? I changed my writing because I didn't have enough room to do cursive at the bottom. <laughs> Why are you feeling this way? And then the obvious one is how, well, how do I write this though? I'll just write what changes can you make? It's always good to reflect on your week and just see why you're feeling that way and what you can do. What steps can you take to make a difference? Um, sometimes you don't want to face that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, and I, I'm the same way. What can you, I'm just gonna write, what can you change? So I don't always wanna face it. Like last night, I was in a mood. I was in a bad mood and I didn't care what anybody said. I did not want to try to be, like improve myself. I didn't want to do anything at all, you know? And sometimes our mood is like that, but it helps to journal about it and just keep pushing and trying. It, you can't always get there all the time, but I keep trying, you know, because what else are you gonna do? All right, so I'm gonna just color in this little check mark up here, because that's cute. All right, this is where I'm gonna write week of. We can write it in now because it's gonna be for next week. I'm filming this on Wednesday, um, the 29th. So this is gonna be for the week of the third through the ninth. And this is Easter week and I didn't realize that. I mean, I, I did realize it, I just forgot. But I'm gonna do an Easter spread in my um, big happy planner for next week, so. Okay, so this is gonna be the week, of, I, can't, I can't believe it's April, oh my gosh. Ah, April. So April. What did I say, third? through the ninth, right? Don't worry, we're gonna use some decorative stickers in here too. We're still working on like the functional stuff right now. So here, I am gonna keep this listening to. I'll color in this, only because it's sort of hard to cover that up. I'd have to cover up like the whole thing. But I have been listening to some good audiobooks and podcasts, so I'll be able to write those in. And then down here, I sort of want to cover this up because I don't think I need to reflect on is it bringing up any emotions or sparking any thoughts unless I talk about the thoughts. Actually, maybe I will leave it in here because I listen to a lot of self-improvement podcasts like for mental wellness and maybe I can jot some notes down there on what I've been learning from the podcast. I think that's what I'll use it for. I'm going to take this arrow and just do this. Yeah. Okay. Now, I will probably color these in and like these colors as I'm going throughout the spread. 
I need to label this one. Let's use a circle, I guess, um, in blue, maybe? This was for priorities, but I'm changing up this and I'm changing up these. Again, you can always change up these prompts to be what you want because I, this is supposed to be like a daily page. I use it for a weekly page. You can even use it for a monthly page. This was gonna be for my word of the year connect. Maybe I need to use like a rectangle for this because this one's too small, I think. I like it though, it looks cute. I'll just write how and then I'll write, did you connect? And that might be like, I went out with a friend to dinner or I talked on the phone to someone I haven't talked to in a while. It might even mean I was at the grocery store and I sparked it, I started up a conversation with a stranger. So it could be any of those things or other things. It's just a reminder to myself to keep my promise to myself about my word of the year. Uh, because before I didn't have that built into my planner. I only had it as like a sign on my wall that if you have something on your wall, it becomes a part of your wall. You know what I mean? After a while, you don't look at it. So that's why I'm purposely doing it this year in my planner. So we're going to cover these up too, because this is, is not going to, you know, it's different. So I think I will write like so I'll do some journaling about how I connected or something. So we we'll, we will use this arrow and we're just going to outline it here. And then let's cover these up. Let's get some washi, I guess, and we'll continue sort of that look. By the way, if I didn't say it, thank you Plenty Thing for giving me this really cute stuff. Um, I appreciate it so much. Of course, I just had to order two more sticker storage boxes for the bigger sticker books, like the planning thing ones, because yeah, it's uh, getting out of control here with the amount of stickers that have been coming in this year. So I'm trying to make space for them and I'm having difficulty because this room is so small. So I'm looking forward to moving so that I can actually have a big craft room again and have space for all this stuff. So. That is something to look forward to, which will be one of these, I guess. Um, let's do some rectangles here. Maybe, yeah, I guess. Okay. Just thinking my way through here. The only thing I planned when I started this was that I was going to um, like use these boxes and use that theme. So I didn't really know what else I was going to be doing on here. I kind of like to do it with you guys, you know? Okay, and now we will write our little prompts. What are they gonna be though? Um, I wanted this one at least to be related to the connect thing. How did this make you feel? Okay, and then this one doesn't have to be related to connect because there's no arrow next to it. Okay, so for this one, let's do, oh, and I still have to talk about what I'm gonna do over here, but for this one, let's do, what did you let go of this week? Because I think it's so important to monitor, not monitor, but like think about our lives and what we're spending so much time on we don't need to be doing or what feelings we're having that we really, they're not serving us. And I've talked about that a lot. So I like to put reminders like that sometimes into my planner because I forget. So we have our prompts. We know what we're gonna put where except for over here. So let's do that now. I always have a gratitude list in my planner. That is something I have every week. So I think it should be here. That makes sense because it's a longer area. So I'm just gonna write, um, I'll just write gratitude, I guess gratitude and then um, I also really like to write my wins of the week like what did I accomplish or how did I change or just something that felt like a win in my life because if I focus on those things it helps me with my self-esteem so I'm gonna write that here I'll write um, wins of the week 
And then here I don't know yet, so I'm going to leave that blank. I will think of something as I'm going through the week. It always kind of changes and flows as I'm writing in my journal. So now comes the fun part, and that is the decorating. Let's decorate this up with these cute stickers. I'm not going to use all the colors, I don't think, so I don't think I'm going to use the rainbow, but I'm going to use the little flowers. And you might notice that on some weeks I will write, like I'll have a box for each day because it's a journal obviously but some weeks I don't do that and the reason for that is I like to be able to sort of reflect on the entire week rather or how I'm feeling like just at the moment you know rather than be limited to this is what I did today and this is how I feel today because that can change and if I have a spread like this and I don't have the dates on them and sometimes I do but if I don't have the dates on them then what I do if I'm writing something specific in, and I might write around some of this stuff too, but if I'm writing something in, I might write the date and then how I'm feeling that day or what happened, but I kind of don't focus as much on the date as I do on what's going on in my head or what's going on in my life. So that's just how I do it. Everybody's so different. But yeah, I like journaling a lot. It's really kind of changed my life in a way. Let's see, we got some butterflies in here. Let's put some of these in. Now these are clear stickers, so I could white out the lines below, but I don't know if I'm feeling that adventurous. Well, maybe this one. I just have a Sakura jelly roll. And I kind of like the, um, I kind of like the Univall Signo better, but I just grabbed this one. I liked this one too. I like this one too, just not as much as the other. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a second. And I might put bees in because, yeah, of course, why wouldn't I put bees in? We'll put one near the self care checklist because he's cute. We'll put one down here in the corner of listening to. He's a little guy sitting right there. And like I said, I'll color this in. I might even write a couple words on these little clouds during the week, you know? I could see doing that. Oh, uh, I wanna put that there, but maybe I'll put it here. There's yellow right there. Um, He's kinda of big. I think I'll wait on him. Let's do another one of these pink ones, I think. I could also put some Eastery stickers in there. I might if they match color wise. Mm -hmm. We'll put this one here. Oh, that's the same angle. No, no, thank you. We can't do the same angled sticker. Come on. I don't know why I'm like that. Okay, let's cut this off. I have this little piece I could put somewhere too. Maybe just over here, I don't know. I sort of want to put a butterfly here. So I am. We need another blue flower to sort of balance this color out because that's pretty bold color. So I'm going to take it and put it down in the corner, kind of here, So because that's right there. So we don't want to put it too much in the corner, if that makes sense. And then I want to put something next to it because it needs something. So let's put a bee there. He's smelling the flower. Let's add more bees in, because why not? We'll put one up here and one in here somewhere, right there. <laughs> That's cute. And we could even put one there, maybe. Are we done? The thing is, when I fill these spreads out throughout the week, I really bring in different color pens. I bring in more stickers and stuff. And that's when the fun really happens. So what you see before the pen never quite looks complete, you know, and that's okay. And I would love to maybe take you through this spread um, as an after the pen, but I don't know that I'm going to have enough time to fit it into my YouTube schedule. And I don't want to overextend myself. So I will, I know that, that those types of videos are really popular that you guys really like when I fill out my journal and talk about how I fill out my journal and I will try to make more of those for you. But I think this week is going to be uh, too difficult to, to fit that in. Let's put something 
on here Eastery, I think, but it has to match. I mean, this kind of matches, right? This Easter egg. It's pretty bright though, but I think it'll work. We'll put it up here. <laughs> and then maybe a little chick, because the chick kind of matches the bee a little bit. Like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. And then, like I said, it's going to definitely change as I write in it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out Planything for really cute stickers, a really pretty washi tape, um, that notepad. It's such a cute release. So I will put the information in the description box along with the products I used today. Thank you so much for watching this whole video. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.